guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I love to cook and I thought that for my first video it would be fun to kind of challenge myself and cook something that I haven't ever cooked before. So, mahi mahi is fish, obviously. And there is a recipe on the back of here, but it's pineapple salsa mahi mahi. I don't have pineapple, I don't have salsa and I'm not even gonna follow this recipe. I'm gonna kinda just wing it and try and make it my own. I have about an hour before he gets home. It's gonna be interesting to see how this turns out. Now what I like to do is just drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top. Dude, it is so difficult to do all of this and film with just one hand. So usually I use the lid, but I'm trying to film this. So you really just want like a drizzle. Okay, so that was a lot, but it's okay because I'm gonna kind of like stir it around here. So the veggies are in the oven and those take about 25 minutes to like bake and soften a little bit and then at the end I just put it on boil really quick just to kind of make it a little bit crispy. Do the mahi mahi. Oh, they're like in little packages. So I'm gonna cut these open and then rinse them off. Okay, I'm like low-key nervous because I have like no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I it feels like super like tough. Not tender at all. I don't know. I don't know. So what I think I'm going to do is just put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of this pan on like low medium and just cook it like 4 minutes on each side, I feel like. flavor that I wanted to do was like garlic, lemon, butter. I have this. It's a garlic, lemon, and herb seasoning. Wow, that smells so good. Okay guys, so the pan is heated up and I'm gonna go ahead and lay this mahi-mahi into the pan and we will see how this does. While the mahi-mahi is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the rice for Jackson. I love white rice, but it's just too many carbs. The vegetables in the oven, we got the rice ready to be cooked, the mahi mahi is cooking, looking delicious. Growing up, my mom, she on Monday nights would have me make dinner for the family, and she would always teach me to have meat, vegetable, and a starch. And obviously, the starch is the smallest portion. I think it started when I was really like 15. I would, I mean, I would always help out in the kitchen. Sometimes my mom would have to like force me to do it just because I was, you know, just like the teenager, selfish. So doing that has really helped me. Just learning like small things, you know, even the difference in olive oil and canola oil, what to use this for, what to not use this for. So, I mean, there's been a lot of things that in the two years of being married, I've kind of like taught myself. But the gist of everything and like the basics, my mom taught me, so thanks mom. If you're watching this. She didn't teach me how to make mahi mahi though, so it's actually coming out pretty good. Okay. 
My mouth is watering. Wow! Guys, I am so impressed. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So I'm gonna turn the rice on and I'm gonna put it on like between medium high. Cause you want it to boil, but you don't want it to be like going crazy and, and cook the rice too fast. for the like to drizzle over the top is butter and a little bit of lemon juice and I barely used any butter I used two tablespoons so like literally this much I was gonna put like an herb in it or something but I have not been to fresh fields yet this week which is that market that I usually shop at so I'm just stirring the rice you want to stir it because once the water boils out of it, if you don't stir it, it'll get like super hot and stick to the pan. And you'll know when it's done, it'll get like super mushy. Okay, you guys, I think we're actually done. So now all we have to do is fix the plate. Jackson to come home. As soon as he gets home, I'm gonna video him tasting the food. He doesn't know that I just did this without a recipe. I guess we just gotta wait for him to come home. YouTube video, and I made, we're gonna try it together for the first time. Yeah. So, we're gonna try. Cheers. Really? Yeah. Am I going first? All right, first time, right? It's my, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me preface it really quick. This is my first time ever making mahi mahi. I did not use a recipe. Dude, I specifically Dude, said use a recipe. That's not good. I didn't use good. a recipe. Listen, do you trust me? I trust you. Okay, so let me let me share here what we have going on. Okay, so we have sautéed mahi mahi with the lemon garlic butter seasoning, and then I made a separate sauce with butter, the lemon stuff, and lemon juice, and then we have rice with a little bit of salt, zucchini, asparagus. And the sauce, I drizzled over your rice and the- All right, here we go. Here. Okay, let's pray first. All right. Ready? Dude. It literally tastes like premium tuna. It's not supposed to taste like tuna. Type of fish. I would give it an eight out of 10. It's a little dry. The seasoning is on point. Next time we should grill it. We should grill it. Sorry. Thanks for that. Um, Jackson thinks it tastes like tuna. I think it's a little bit too dry. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna go eat now.